Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to make sentiment analysis on the user input using GPT-3 model in Flutter. Sentiment analysis is a natural language processing technique used to determine whether the user input is positive, negative, or neutral. Sentiment analysis is often performed on textual data which is the user input to help the business monitor brand and product sentiment in customer feedback. And it helps the business to have a better insight on the customer needs in sentiment level. So in this Flutter tutorial, we will be using only one package, which is the HTTP package to make network requests. To prevent any version conflict, make sure you are using the same environment SDK version as mine. Here, I have created a very simple Flutter application that have a text field and an elevated button. And I have created a text editing controller to get the user input and a string variable to store the results of sentiment analysis. Now, we just have to create the action for the elevated button. Firstly, we have to create GPT-3 sentiment analysis model. In this tutorial, we will be using text DaVinci 003 model. Next, we will be creating the HTTP POST request to the OpenAI's API. Don't forget to import the HTTP package. Now we can create the HTTP POST request. This HTTP request is an asynchronized function. Don't forget to add a sync keyword. The API path is api.openai.com slash v1 slash completion. Next, we will add the headers. In the authorization header, you are required to add the API secret key and you can obtain the key in OpenAI's website. The secret key should be confidential and known by you only. I will store the API key in another different file so that when I push the code to GitHub or any public repository, I can use git ignore to ignore the secret key file. Next, we will be adding the body for the HTTP POST request. For the prompt key, the value will have a standard format. We will come back later. Now we have added a few parameters in the body. Now let's get back to the prompt. In order to let the model know that this is sentiment analysis, in the first phrase of the prompt, we should add a command or an instruction to tell that this is sentiment analysis. After adding the instruction, it should follow by the user input, which is the textual data. And we can get the user input with the controller. After adding the user input, we should close the phrase with the word sentiment. Now we have created the HTTP POST request. And when this request executed, it will return with a response. Now we have to decode the response to get the sentiment value that we need.
Now we will update the sentiment value from the response to the sentiment result string variable that we created earlier. And we will display the sentiment result value in the text widget below. Now we have completed on the code side. Let's try it in the simulator. Seems like there is an error. Alright, there is a typo error in the HTTP body. There is a P missing from the prompt. Now let's try again in the simulator. And there you go, GPT-3 model returns positive for the phrase today is a good day. And it returns negative for today is a bad day phrase. And this is how we build a sentiment analysis application. If you are interested on the application, you can follow the tutorial and build your own sentiment analysis application. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. If you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.